I wish I would have got drafted by Dallas initially, you know. Turn up the MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we are talking about Kyrie Irving saying some really crazy things. First, about where he was drafted. Secondly, about Luka Doncic. Check it out. I wish I would have got drafted by Dallas initially in position in 2011, but just feeling how this organization wraps their arms around the guys. And with me and Luca, we're, we're so skilled. He, he makes the game so easy for everyone around him. I think we got a lot of open shots last year because of how much attention he garnered. And for me, I was just coming in and trying to alleviate some of that pressure. A few times, I think we were being too passive with one another. We're both killers on the court. Everybody knows it. We want to win. So we just have to continue to have that consistent mentality together. Like to guard Luca. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm one of the guys that guards him the best. Is probably why I'm on the team. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, everybody's been 30, saying he gave me thirty. He gave me thirty. Yeah, everybody's been saying you want to be a four. You think yourself a power forward? So. Hey, man, I, I hope that catch wins. I hope that catch legs. Uh, but I, I love messing around with the fans, man. I love messing around with the basketball community. Whenever I say I'm a four, man, because I feel like <laughs> it's one of the easiest roles to play, you know. And that's just me speaking. All you have to do is rebound. You could trail. You, you got Grant get, coming up next. We'll tell. Uh, we'll tell yeah, please, please tell him. It's I'll the easiest tell, role I'll to play. Keith, you could just be loud the whole entire time. You can shoot threes. You can post up. You can rebound. You, you don't have to pass if you don't want to. You know yeah, what right. I mean? Like Dirk's a four. You know, you think about some of the best fours in the league in league history. What's it like to guard Luca? Uh, now to say that he wished he was drafted in Dallas, that is kind of hard. I'm sure when LeBron heard that, he probably cringed. You think, you know, you won your only NBA title in Cleveland with one of the arguably, you know, either one or two or three all-time players in LeBron James but yet you wish that you were drafted to Dallas a team that last year didn't even make the playoffs a team that was in playoff contention you know before you got there and then gradually just you know, played horribly and took themselves out of the playoffs even while you had a superstar as your sidekick doesn't make any sense to me at all so i don't know why Kyrie's saying all of this but Kyrie's just up to Kyrie's stuff all right saying stuff that gets attention i don't know if he wants attention but he's just saying stuff to get attention and about him locking up luca being the best at locking up luca i don't know where that like where does that come from at all right because to my knowledge Kyrie has no chance whatsoever of locking up Luca. Okay, Luca can post him, and Kyrie has no chance at all. He's what six foot one, six foot two. You know, maybe what two hundred and five pounds, and Luca is like two thirty or two twenty, and he's six foot seven. So how are you the best at locking him up? I know you said it's a joke or whatever, but. Still, how does it even come into his mind in this? I don't have any idea. You know, I just hope for Kyrie's sake that this year he just does less attention getting and more attention getting on the court, more playing, more winning, all right, rather than having the things that come out of his mouth and his actions, you know, get attention. So that's about it. So until next time.